Now 713 on your Friday morning. Of course, on Monday, we're going to be honoring our fallen heroes. We also have a long weekend, and as we get ready for that long weekend, we know many of you will fire up those grills for the unofficial start of summer. We also know that groceries haven't exactly been very cheap lately, so this morning our friends at Burndown on South Broadway are helping those of us cooking on a budget with some ideas. This morning we have the co-owner Alex Vicker with us, yep. and we got some deliciousness that you brought. Yeah, with you, my yeah, friends. yeah. This is this is our elote dip. It's super popular. People love it. It's kind of unique. You don't see it in a lot of different places. And the nice thing is you can get really really cheap ingredients oh, to yeah. make this and really enjoy that. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So I've, I've got a newborn, like she's getting to her fruit stages and you know how <laughs> expensive fresh fruit can be. Uh, so so yeah, we try to make it work around our house too. Um, so this is a great option if you're trying to make, you know, a big party dip on a budget, right? It's super easy. Yeah, really, really easy. Not a ton of components. And the thing is you can, you can make it as fancy or as simple as you want it to be. Yeah, okay, yeah. so walk us through what we got. Okay, all right, so really what we start with is some, some roasted corn. Okay. And what's great about this is you don't have to get the ear and roast it yourself on the grill. You can buy this stuff frozen, pre-roasted. You can okay. get it at Trader Joe's or Safeway, wherever you shop. Three bucks a bag. It's going to have like four full helpings like this inside of it. Really is a sliding scale. This, it truly is about what you want to pay at the grocery store. Yeah, e exact, yeah, exactly. And then, you know, there's also the time element here because we're talking about a budget. We've got to budget our time as well. Yes. And doing it that way saves you a ton. Of Clever, time. you should be on TV. <laughs> yeah, maybe so. <laughs> I'll start some infomercials. Um, but but anyway, so so we've got the corn as the base. And then we've got a uh, sort of lime crema, which is, you know, mostly just lime juice and a little bit of sour cream. Okay. We've got our chipotle crema. Uh, we do it a little bit differently. It's a mayo base, so it's a little bit thicker, but essentially it's just, um, you know, like chipotle chilies. Yeah. Um, uh, but if you don't want to have to go to the store to get chipotle chilies, you can use hot sauce. Okay, perfect, yeah. easy. Yeah, yeah you, you have like Chipo Chipotle Tabasco works really well. Um, I've done Texas Pete before. So again, you can kind of make this whatever you want it yeah, to be. Yeah, yeah. Um, so that's, that's, that's part two. Then we've got our Cotilla cheese. Uh, I would highly recommend splurging on that. It's gonna be a few bucks for a little container, but it holds the whole thing together. It looks great on top, tastes great. Yum. Gives you that authentic yeah. sort of Mexican flavor. A little bit of cilantro, some limes, and then my favorite part of the whole thing here are crushed up uh, fire hot Cheeto dust. You know, that's Cheeto, yeah, that's yeah, Cheetos yeah, right yeah, there. That's Cheetos. Uh, <laughs> if anything, it gives it a really great pop of color. Not totally necessary, if I'm being honest, but no, we just it's love absolutely it. necessary. <laughs> so. It gives me a reason to put Cheetos some, in my cabinet. If you've got again. Some, some teenagers in the house, odds yeah. are you have a bag of these lying yeah. around. So, so that's that's kind of the, the foundation for, for this whole dish. And if you're ready, we can go ahead and start kind of yes, putting it please, together. Yes, please, let's do this. You got the apron on, the best apron I've We got seen Dolly in with years. us this morning. Yeah. That's how you know we're ready. The spirit of Dolly, please help us here. Uh, so you start off with your full portion of corn there. Okay. Then you're going to put in your, uh, this is like a lime crema. So just put it on top. It's got some uh, herbs in there too, a little bit of dill to give it some freshness. Okay. Uh, if you want to toss in the chipotle crema yes. for me. Yes, and, I just, and you top. just dump it in. Yeah, you can't yeah, mess yeah. that up. Just dump it in. Next up. We're going to put in a little bit of the cotilla. We're gonna we're gonna save some of it for uh, garnish. Perfect. Uh, and then yeah, sprinkle in some of the cilantro. We're gonna save some of that. Just for a garnish. little bit. Yep, okay. Yeah. Perfect. And then we're just gonna incorporate it all. And I promise it's not the prettiest while we're making it. It, it doesn't but it, matter. It, it it's tastes, all about how it, it tastes. tastes. In fact, exactly. I'm gonna try this out right yeah, here. Yeah. I want you to get in while we're going here, just to, just to make sure we're on the right track. And Alex, while I take a bite, why don't you tell us about Burn Down just really quickly and where people can find you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're on South Broadway, just south of Alameda. Um, if you've ever been to the Blue <laughs> Bonnet, you know where we're at. Um, so we're across the street from there. We've been open for uh, one year, pretty much today. Um, so it's been uh, it's been a fun ride, but uh, people really you know, seem to enjoy it. They seem to be coming back. We've got our one year anniversary party coming up on yeah. Saturday the 1st. going to be music all day, drink specials. Um, let me get a little bit of that in there. <laughs> well, um, congratulations yeah, on one yeah, year. Yeah, thank you. And uh, if you don't want to make your own elote at home, you can go to Burn yeah, you Down. can swing by for Check sure. Check it out. But I mean, you know, the totality of these ingredients, what everything's coming together, you know, even making your own cremas at home, even if you don't have this, the ingredients, having to go out and buy it, like this whole thing's going to be about 12 bucks, yeah. you know? Um, but you can make multiple portions with that $12 that you spend. That initial investment can make the two or three of these. Okay, um, So, and you can scale it up as well. So if you're going to a big, like, yeah. barbecue or something like that, you can make a huge portion of this, bring it, and everyone's going to absolutely love it. Awesome. So next up, we will... Put on some cotilla. Gotcha. And as we finish this up, we got to send things over to Ed Green for the forecast. This is Alex Vickers, co-owner of Burndown. Go yeah, check them out. Say absolutely. hi to him while Come you're on. there.